A huge thank you to everybody who showed up to the game today. I think it was over 103,000 people showing up. Awesome for a noon kick. Uh, unbelievable the skull session today. They were rocking. We felt it early on, and uh, and everybody stayed late, you know. So it was uh, it was really humbling to just run out of that tunnel with with our guys with a packed house. That means so much to our players, you know. With an early kickoff, you know, having a packed house coming out, and then feeling them feeling them early on, and I think that helped to our, our great start. Um, you know, I thought we came out to a great start early on. We we're kind of clicking on both sides of the ball, hit a little bit of a lull there, um, but but overall a great start. Um, you know, we wanted to play clean. You know, watched a lot of football the last week and. There's been a lot of teams out there who haven't played as clean as they'd like. You know, there was a couple things here and there we got to fix, but I thought tackling was good. Uh, the ball security, other than really than one play, the the, um, the fumble by J.K. we got to fix. The bubble screen, it was kind of a, a freak play. We'll get that fixed fast. But other than that, and a couple penalties, I thought it was pretty clean and a good start. Um, and then on defense, again, I thought we, we ran to the ball early on, and uh, then our second team came in a little bit and, and let them come down the field. And we can't let that happen. We got to play with we got to play with depth this season. Um, so a lot to learn from, uh, first step, but we want to know, so it's a good start, but again, uh, first step in a long journey. Front row left, Bill. First of all, Ryan, uh, what was it like for your first official game as head coach? And then also, can you, what do you attribute the lull to in the, after the, the fast start? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, first off, the, the, the experience was unbelievable. It was awesome, especially with the start that we came out with. It was great, memory, memorable experience. Um, you know, looking at it here, you know, I, I think at one point it was it was twenty eight to three, and I, I think we were we were still in the first quarter. Uh, it was twenty eight nothing, and there there was six fifty to go, I guess, in the first quarter. You know, I don't know if I've ever been a part of a game like that. It was kind of strange that we came out to such a quick lead, and then um, maybe we took a deep breath there. I, I'm not sure, but. Uh, we can't let that happen. We got to keep the, the pedal to the metal on that. Keep going. Then I thought, you know, in the second half on offense, we leaned on them a little bit. You know, kind of pounded them. Uh, Justin made some good reads throwing the ball. Uh, but again, when you're when you're coming out of preseason, I think one of the things is you spend so much time going against your defense. So whether it's bowl practice, spring ball, preseason, you're going against the same looks over and over again. And in first games, you know, you're getting something that's different, and so it's new. And I think that's why you see uh, a lot of teams play sloppy in that first game. Um, but I thought we adjusted as the game went on, and again, it's a start. Front row, middle, Dave. I thought he, I thought he performed well. We, um, you know, playing with uh, you know great energy, making good decisions, but more importantly, managing the game, taking care of the ball. That's the biggest thing. Uh, and so the big plays will come. I didn't think they'd come that fast. I mean, they were coming fast and furious early on. But a lot of times today, the defense we were, we were seeing uh, was very different than what we, we see in practice. It was uh, a three down front, and they were dropping eight, you know, some. And so there was the windows weren't as clean. And, um, you know, he had to scramble sometimes, keep us on schedule. Uh, maybe if the window wasn't there, he kind of scrambled, got us to second and six, and kept those drives alive. Um, so overall, I thought that was well done. Uh, there's still some things in there that uh, protection-wise we've got to clean up. Got a long way to go. Uh, but for a first start, it was well done. Over to the left, Doug. Ryan, we talked so much about the defense in the offseason just in terms of guys getting to the ball and staying connected. Was that, did they do what you were looking for there? Yeah, what I was looking for was guys running the ball and hitting. I, I felt that. I mean, I was watching Pete Warner and Malik Harrison and, and uh, Jeff Okuda come into the ball, and you could, you could feel the violence on the field. And that's what we want. We want that toughness. And, and I felt that. I mean, I felt those guys flying around, and it was, to me, it was intimidating. It was downhill. It was, it was what we want. And um, I didn't feel that at the end of the game uh, with the second group in there. We've we got to get that going. But, um, but again, lots to learn from and get on film. Left, middle, Austin. Uh, it's a, it's a start. You know, we we got a really good team coming in here next week, uh, who's well coached, and and you guys know uh, Luke, and, and those guys are going to be prepared. So, uh, we got our hands full. Um, but but the good news is we got a lot to learn from from this game, and uh, we got a lot of first time starters in there, a lot of young guys that, that we can build from. Um, but there's a lot of confidence to build off too. Guys made plays in this game. Um, you know, anytime you score 45 points, or you know, you hold the team to negative rushing yards. I'm not sure how many, how long that was, Jerry, but it was maybe in the, into the third quarter. There was negative, absolutely, yeah, negative uh, rushing yards into the third quarter. That's that's something to be proud of. So, um, so anyways, again, a lot to build from, but uh, but a lot to learn from for the young guys as well. Over to the left, Bill. Ryan, uh, 
there seemed to be a good amount of, I guess for lack of a better term, just sort of like pro-style stuff in, in your offense today, like a stretch play, like an offset eye touchdown kind of thing. Um, ideally, how much of that will be a part of your offense? How much of it is just driven by the matchup and what you see? And then what do you feel like you got out of it? Uh, I think when you look at um, you know college football today, I think it's important to have a, a balance. I think it's, it's important to be able to line up under center, run the football and play action pass, do some things. Uh, and then also run um, spread and, and, and run with tempo. And I think when you can mix those two things um, and you're good at both of those things, it's not easy to do. Um, but I think our quarterbacks can do that and Justin can do that. Um, uh, we're lucky enough to have some t tight ends with some experience. And we can put those guys in there and do some things with them as well. And I think it, it brings a different level uh, of preparation for the defense. And it's something that we really haven't done a bunch of here. And so I think it's an edge for us. Over here to the right, Clay. Uh, yeah, in the tunnel, in the tunnel. Um, I give a little dap to, to Quinn on the way out and uh, look up at the stands and look up at the full house running out of the tunnel and the smoke comes out and that, that's my time to enjoy it. And, um, you know, it's unbelievable. The hair stands up on, on your arms and the back of your neck and um, you really feel, feel, feel fortunate to be in that situation. And that, that's my time and I'll try to make sure we do that every game. Over to the left, Ari. Ryan, there was a time where, you know, you guys were up 28 nothing, six minutes into the game, and people are joking, Justin Fields coming out in the first quarter, ends up playing till the fourth. Do you come into a game like this with an idea or a plan what you're going to do with him? And what is the – can you take me through the thought process when you're scoring as quickly as you are with, with what to do with him? Yeah, I, I hope our players didn't think what you just said, and that that's worries me a little bit, you know, is that – you know, we, we score that fast, that many points. You know, do our, does our team think that that's happening? And that, that, can't, that can't happen. Um, we're going to play, and those guys have to play until we, we pull them back. And so we're, we're going to address that this week. You know, it's a great start, but we've got to keep going. We've got to keep pushing. Uh, and, then, and then we'll make the decision on when, when we take guys out. And so uh, we, won't, we don't want guys to think about that. Uh, obviously, we've got to be smart in what we do. Uh, the situation didn't come up today. Um, you know, Justin's a guy who hasn't played a lot. So the more snaps he can play, I think we played uh, 74 snaps. He needs them all. You know, I wish it was 174 snaps out there. But at the same time, we've got to be smart and take care of him. Second row middle, Dom. Um, right after that, we, we sang with the, uh, with the student section, you know, walking off the field and getting in there with the team. And, uh, you know, we celebrate all the Warriors, and, and we are going to enjoy this. You know, it's, it's hard to be 1-0. It doesn't matter uh, how you shake it. When you're in college football, there's a lot of good coaches, a lot of good programs, and uh, proud to be 1-0, but uh, we know what we got ahead of us, and we know this journey is, you know, it, we looked at it with the first six weeks. we got a bye week, those two games, a bye week, and then four games. And so the goal is to be 1-0. If we can just be 1-0 on Saturday night, I know it's cliche, but it's real. Um, but, uh, you know, we're going to sleep on this thing tonight, but we know in the back of our minds that we've got a really good team coming in here, a hungry team, a well-coached team, and uh, we're going to have to play really good to beat them. Got time for a couple more because we have players out there. Middle, Dan. Ryan, the first four possessions, how many of those plays were uh, your productive plays, and how do you feel like you're talking to play Yeah, great. I think that, uh, you know, we came out with a good plan. Uh, what we do is we don't really do so much scripting. We do more openers, you know, things that we like early on in the game, and then, and then we have to adjust from there and figure out what they're doing. And, and so, uh, you know, the call sheet was pretty big this week because we weren't exactly sure what we were going to get. New time, new uh, defensive coordinator there at FAU. And um, there were other people on the staff. And so you kind of have to look to see what those guys and backgrounds are. And so there's a lot of different looks that can come into play. And so um, I thought the ability for us to get into two tight ends was good for us. And then, and then we got into the second half, we kind of leaned on them a little bit. And I thought we did a good job there. But, but overall, I thought the game plan was good. And I thought the guys handled the, you know, some different looks early on really well. And final two questions, Stephen, and then we'll go right to Rob. Ryan, J.K. Dobbins got the ball 21 times today. Just immediate evaluation on how he ran the ball today. I thought he ran it good. I'm going to watch the film and see. Um, the ball on the ground is unacceptable. We can't have that. I thought he ran hard, though, at times. Um, harder than I've seen him run in the past. And, uh, and so, you know, we'll, we'll look at the film and figure out where we can get those things to the second level a little bit, little bit faster for him. Um, there were a couple of things in the zone game where we didn't fit it quite right up front. There was a couple, couple guys coming free on that. And we got to get that fixed. Uh, but overall, I thought he played hard. And I thought, you know, he ran with his pads down. And um, that's the first of, of things to come moving forward. And Rob. Uh, you like to say you don't improve if you don't fail. Did Justin Fields fail enough today for you? Is it, was there enough there that you can work on oh, yeah. this week? Oh, yeah. What, uh, 
Anything specific? Uh, yeah, protections. Um, you know, protections, reads, decisions. A uh, lot, lot to build from uh, off of today. Um, I thought overall, though, game management was decent. There was a one time where he scrambled out and took a sack. He could have just thrown it away. It would have been second and 10. I think it was second and 14. Um, you know, caught a lot of little things there going on there. But, um, but again, overall, pretty solid, but a ton to learn from. And especially when you look at the film, you know, you sit in there for 70, 74 plays. You're going to be able to teach off of those 74 plays. And, and uh, you know, when you're not live, it's hard to get a feel for the decisions that are being made and whether to hang on to a ball, throw it, those type of things. So uh, overall, a lot to learn from. And again, how'd the process work with the play calling? Were you happy with it, the way, you know, the, the minutiae? Yeah, that, okay. no, no, I thought it was good. I thought we had great conversation in between uh, series, between Kevin, uh, Mike, and I. Um, going over and, and talking to the guys on defense when we we're on defense, make sure I was I was in tune with what was going on there in the special teams, and then flip over and get the thoughts uh, from those guys. Um, so I thought it was good, and uh, but it's a start. Hi everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app, and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus. We'll see you there.